lower income usually being easier, although it can be quite complex these days as well with things like the earned income credit. Uh, and are you focused on business returns or not? Business returns could include a sole proprietor that we'll talk about here, but also can include uh, a partnership, in which case you'd have a separate flow through entity an S corporation, which has basically a flow through entity and a limited liability company flow through entity or a schedule uh, C uh, type of, I'm sorry, a C corporation, which would be a separate basic legal entity, which is taxed at the corporate level. So the idea would be if you take on those business type of entities there's usually going to be a lot more kind of tax planning work that will be involved and possibly more accounting work so you're going to want to have a team together as well thinking do you want to do the accounting helping out with the accounting or do you want someone else to be doing the accounting give you the information for the data input for so you just do the data input for the taxes and how much tax planning type of work might you be doing noting that even when you're talking about just a schedule c it creates a lot of changes to uh, the tax return because now we have to work think about different deductions different credits uh and and uh, we also have the self-employment tax possibly being involved okay that said a sole proprietor uh, your business income is reported on your personal income tax return using schedule c form 1040 or schedule c uh, ez now so the schedule c is basically an income statement in and of itself this gets confusing i know because we're talking here and said that the formula for the income tax equation is basically a funny income statement income line items minus the deductions but now we're saying that one of the lines that feed into this income line, in other words, one of the lines that feed into this top line of the income formula is actually coming from another statement, which is basically an income statement. In other words, it's coming from a Schedule C, which is basically your business's income statement, which has business income minus expenses. The expenses on your business income statement are basically deductions. So what you're pulling into line one of income of this income tax formula is basically the bottom line, the net income, in essence, of your business's income statement, which is reported on the Schedule C if we're talking about a sole proprietor. That's the general idea. Okay, Schedule C, profit or loss from the business. So business income, report all income from your business, including sales, services, and any other income sources related to your business activities. Now note, when you're talking about a business, it's going to be more complex to determine what income is there. Because when we talk about a W-2 income, 1099 income, note that the IRS is quite good, has become very good at forcing the payer to report uh, to them the income earned if you're talking about an employee the irs already has the information they got the w-2 they have the 1099s uh, in certain cases for a contractor when you're talking about a schedule c it might be the case that you get 1099s but you, you might not get 1099s that add up to the full amount of the business income for example if you have a a nail salon business or if someone's a hairstylist or possibly a restaurant, a masseuse, those kind of things where they're getting paid by people that are end customers rather than getting paid by, by a business, then the IRS has no leverage to force the payer to give a 1099 for those payments because they don't get a deduction. You don't get a deduction for getting your hair cut. For, so, so therefore, uh, th th you might not get 1099s for those types of businesses and many businesses are that way. Uh, if you're doing business and you're working for another corporation, like you make widgets for a larger corporation, because it's a larger corporation, they're going to want to deduct the payments that they're making to you. Even though you're not an employee, the IRS is going to force them to issue a 1099 and you might get 1099s uh, in those cases. Therefore, the IRS is skeptical about those businesses that are cash based that work for the end customer like restaurants, hair salons, nail salons, all the ones that got hit during COVID, which I still think my conspiracy theory, the government took that as an advantage to take out those businesses. They don't like those businesses because they can't they can't track them as easy. But anyway, 
Expenses. Deduct all ordinary and necessary expenses incurred in running your business. This includes costs such as rent, supplies, advertising, utilities, wages uh, paid to employees. It's very important that if you have someone that has a Schedule C business that they file their tax return, especially if they get 1099s and they report their expenses. Because remember what the IRS is going to receive? They're going to get the income side because they might get 1099s reporting the income that someone paid to the business. If, if you do not file a tax return, what will happen is you, you are gonna, the IRS is gonna see the income side, but not the expense side. This is often where people get in deep trouble with the IRS over years because they just don't file their tax return and they don't really understand the whole consequences of not doing that because they've already they've always been a w-2 employee in which case we have trained people not to really understand their tax